Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are pretty much doing a little bit of everything. We are gonna start off by tidying up our living space. This is the day after Halloween and it has gotten pretty bad in here. <laughs> we had organized all of Aubrey's candy and then for some reason it like was everywhere and just the place was a mess. So I decided to try something new and just do like a time lapse of me cleaning up the entire space. And for some reason, this time lapse, like my camera made it like super short or super condensed. So we're not getting, you know, all the vacuum lines nice and slow. But despite this, you know, very short clip, this did take me a very long time to finally get clean, but we got it done. Then we went outside and I saw a little leaf bug. It reminded me I used to catch like bugs. I caught a leaf bug and a stick bug once when I was little and the stick bug like actually shed its skin and when it was trying to pull off the skin, it like ripped off its leg, which I thought was interesting. But anyways, I digress. Aubrey and I are finally coming around to planting some marigold seeds in this little like container she got a couple months ago. I know we're a little late, but the seeds are actually very interesting looking. I've never seen marigold seeds before and they just weren't what I expected them to be. But you know, we'll see if they work. Obviously we actually need to have water in the water bottle sprayer um, to water these plants, but Aubrey thought that what she was doing was gonna work. And then while we were outside, I decided to hand water, I guess, all of the plants that my mom and I have planted in the back so far. Juan still has to work on like setting up little irrigation out there. So for now we are hand watering and our hose in this area isn't quite long enough to reach everything. So I just fill up like a clear bucket thing and I go and I water each plant. And then we're also watering the trees because they also don't have anything like scheduled to water them. So that's all us. After the plants were watered, I'd figured Jack had had enough time in his little like activity center outside and I figured I would give him a little push in his favorite little car. He loves riding in this thing and often babbles as we go in different directions. Aubrey got in her little car and blocked us for a little bit and we went our separate ways while <laughs> she was still playing. I decided to check out my pumpkin which has grown enormous and put out the trash. I do have some other little pumpkins kind of out there, but I'm not sure if they're gonna make it. They pretty much are the same size as all the other ones when they died, and I really only prayed for one pumpkin. So that's all that I'm anticipating will actually make it in this season. Next time, I do plan on planting the seeds a little bit earlier in the year so that I can have the pumpkins like ready by Halloween. But for now, I think I'm just gonna leave it on the stem and see just how big it gets and how orange it gets. I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to cut it off from the vine or let the whole vine die back before harvesting. So that's kind of where I'm at with my pumpkins, but I'm done putting out the trash. The recycle is only picked up every other week in our neighborhood, which is quite annoying because usually we fill up the recycle way quicker than the trash. But anyways, we are moving on back inside and I wanted to make some meringue cookies or meringue lollipops. And since I was going to be boiling water to do a Swiss meringue, I figured I would make some mac and cheese and kind of use the boiling water once it was all ready. So, you know, just kind of to make my life a little bit easier this evening. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm measuring out the egg whites and then I'm multiplying the number of grams of egg whites by 5 fourths or 1.25 to figure out how much sugar I need. I don't really have like a good way to do this if you don't have a food scale. 
I'm still trying to master the meringue in general. This is my second time making these cookies. And you know, so if I figure out a better way for someone who doesn't have a food scale to do this, I will definitely share that in the future. But once the sugar and egg mixture gets to about 50 degrees Celsius, which is like about 122 degrees Fahrenheit, we take it off and beat it until it's like pretty, not too stiff peaks. And then we add in our vanilla and I'm gonna be adding in some like fuchsia food coloring just to kind of make it more fun than just white. Since the last time I did this, I made little white ghosts and didn't actually add any color. So I'm wiping down the bowl and then I'm gonna be putting this in a piping bag with a 1M Wilton tip. And I wanted to try the little cookie lollipop method, which is where you put a little dab on the pan, you put your little popsicle stick or your like ice cake pop stick thing, and then you can pipe. I just did rosettes, but you could do like a variety of roses, make them connected, make something really elaborate. And then in the rest of the naked space around these lollipops, I just piped the rest of the meringue to make little like cookies. I'm throwing these in a, I think 170, 175 degree Fahrenheit oven and leaving it there for anywhere from like an hour and 40 minutes to an hour or two hours. And then turning off the oven and just letting it sit there until it totally cools down. So anyways, those are in the oven and I'm just finishing off this uh, mac and cheese. This is actually a pack that my sister-in-law gave me that her mother gave her. It was just kind of extra and it's not the, like this exactly the same as Kraft mac and cheese. I think I prefer Kraft just cause that's what I grew up on, but it was very similar. So very delicious. All the kids loved it <laughs> and me, can't lie. All right, so moving on. While the kids are still kind of eating their dinner, I am doing some more dishes. It seems like this task is a never ending job. And I look forward to the day where I can like assign Aubrey to put them away or something. But for now, it is kind of my designated job. You can see the cookies still in the oven. They will be in here until after our evening walk, which is coming up soon. And I'm just trying to keep the kitchen as clean as possible so that I don't have too much work in the evening. When Aubrey was done eating dinner, I figured I would take down these little sticky things that we put on the windowsill. I would put them on our sliding glass door, but I've noticed that a lot of the times Aubrey will rip them up. So I figured our kitchen window will be where we put our little sticky things and she can help me, which you guys will see in a second. We're gonna do some Thanksgiving ones. And then I'll save my like chalk pen art for the sliding glass door so that we could, you know, have something like even if it gets kind of messed up or ruined it's not going to be ruined for any future use like these guys would be these sticky things are actually also really good to catch like fruit flies or mosquitoes so i've noticed that like a lot of the times when i'm done using them or going to be putting them away occasionally they have these little bugs stuck to them and in some sense i'm kind of grateful for that because mosquitoes absolutely love me i don't know what it is about me maybe it's my you know my sweet blood from all the sweets i eat or something but mosquitoes love me so if i can have something that catches them or catches any other little gnats 
around the house, I'm totally fine with that. These things are relatively inexpensive and I'm you know, happy to replace them if they fix a bug problem. So uh, I don't think my Halloween ones really caught any bugs, maybe one that I could take off. So I will be reusing those next year. But I thought that is something that you might wanna know if you have a bug issue, you know, try sticking on some of these window sticky things and see if that catches any of your little gnats. So I think by this point I turned off the oven. We're gonna leave the cookies in there and we are gonna go on a little evening stroll. We're still waiting for Juan to get home on this day. He has been having to work pretty late and Aubrey was allowed to bring her little Elsa, you can see in the cup holder, as well as like two of her Halloween treats. So long as she walked, which she pretty much walked the entire way and we went uphill a big portion of it and I wanna say it's at least a mile that we walked. This was one of her favorite houses that she had to point out. And this plant I thought was really pretty. I might wanna incorporate this, like the, the flowers were just really vibrant and beautiful. And then this was a Halloween like decoration that looks pretty scary when it gets dark, when we've walked by it. like. They did a really good job with that werewolf kind of decoration. But it was just a really beautiful evening. I love that it's cooling off and it doesn't make it too uncomfortable for me to get some exercise. Like I need it to be super cool when I'm exercising. Otherwise, I'm just absolutely miserable. Like I'm already miserable from exercising, but you know, I don't want to be absolutely miserable. <laughs> but our sunsets have been beautiful around our house. Just like everything was gorgeous. And we got home, got the kids to bed, and then I was able to take the cookies out of the already turned off cooled oven. And I figured I'd bite into a couple just to kind of give you guys a glimpse at the insides. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching this kind of all encompassing get it all done video today. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you stick around and give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.